Oh my God, yo. Oh my God. A principal punched. This video given to us by a student at Andrews High School in High Point. Hey, hey, hey. I said no. Don't do it. No. A teacher tossed around in a Facebook clip from Page High School in Greensboro. What? Let me get the and a bus driver dragged by their hair in Danville. That our teachers are not working in safe conditions. Mark Regill was a school resource officer at Grimsley High School for eight years. Now retired, he's still troubled by what he saw. Teachers with injured backs. We've had uh, teachers be bloodied. I know of one teacher and had a rib broken where he was knocked to the floor and kicked in the ribs. You don't just have to take his word for it. Two Wants to Know uncovered documented proof of the problem in triad schools. Across the viewing area, there were 235 assaults on staff reported in one school year. That means just about every school day, a staff member somewhere in our area is under attack. Local school workers we talked with are afraid to share their story. But across the country, others are coming forward water bottles thrown at me, bricks thrown towards me, been kicked, bitten, uh, my bra has been exposed. I had been nearly stabbed. I've had my breasts grabbed so violently it left bruises. Um, I've had bodies rubbed against me in a sexual nat nature. Uh, I've had my rotator cuff torn. Their number one duty is to make sure that everybody's kept safe. The president of the North Carolina Association of Educators says teachers getting seriously hurt is rare, but when it happens, it's usually because they're trying to break up a fight. That sometimes having to get into in between the fights of the educators there that, uh, you know, they're gonna do that uh, to make sure kids are kept safe. This is a nationwide problem, and the triad is not immune to the violence with 83 assaults in Guilford County Schools and 69 in Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools. The Winston-Salem Forsyth County School District declined our interview request. Guilford County Schools is speaking up. How important is it to protect our teachers? It's very important. We want everyone to come to school to feel joyful at school so that you enjoy your work. If you enjoy your work, you give your very best. You can't provide joy if you're not safe. To help, they've implemented training in two areas. First, conflict resolution. Knowing when to engage in a conversation and when not to engage, when to ask for help. Um, so if an incident is happening in a building, you know who to call in your building that can respond and help protect you. And they want to use training called social emotional learning to help teachers build better relationships with students. When you care about a person, you're less likely to want to harm them. You want the best for them. Guilford County is only in its second year at this training, so it's too early to tell how well it's working. But district leaders hope they can tackle a major problem hitting home in your child's school. Oh my God, yo! Oh my God!